Okay, so you would have placed your ferrite bead inside your schematic and make sure you check mark any parts that you've added to your uh, workspace actually. The next thing is a connector. Um, or actually before we go to a connector, let's go to fixed inductors. An inductor is just you know similar to how you added the ferrite bead or any discrete component. We'll copy the manufacturer part number. Then go to Altium. <laughs> Getting a new product to market goes way beyond just the schematic and PCB design. Design collaboration between industrial, mechanical and electronics domains and with your customers and the ability to securely share key design elements with key stakeholders, no matter where they are, makes development, design review and release to manufacturing as smooth as silk. Anywhere the right design information is under the right fingertips you get success. Connect with anyone and work from anywhere with Altium Designer and Altium 365. In Altium, we'd go to manufacturer part search, search for that part. Then once you find this from Tayo Uden, it has some options available plus the CAD models for the workspace. So here we can select inductors, place it in the inductor section. You then want to maybe add any case code. So 1212, that's pretty good. DC resistance, okay. The nominal inductance, if inductor type managed matters to your team, then you can put that in there. Package size, package height. The rated current is important. So you want to put in there those 2.1 amps. This is a surface mount. Yes. Okay. Looks good. So we'll go ahead and click okay. All right. The inductor has been loaded. I love that it has the 3D model in here and the 2D model. So you see exactly what this looks like. The next step is to copy the name you want for this inductor, paste it. And there's that. You can add alternate inductors as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead, right click close, hit yes, or enter to hit yes and save. Mm. So it wants us to fix some violations. The select, the select revision is not yet released. Interesting. Okay, so what we want to do is go ahead. Revision state has been deleted. So we're going to need to go in and modify this as needed. I don't need my manufacturer part search, but I do need my schematic library option here. It doesn't have a preview. And if I were to look for like PCB footprints that I can add to this, it's not there, right? So what I want to do is go back into my project here. It's the pinout. I can select a model it would be end under end dash two. Let's see if we can choose a model from our components here, models, symbols. And then you can look for something that's like has a name that starts with an IND for inductor. Okay, this looks suitable. So I'll go ahead and click OK on this. This is the model we'll be using since that was not available from the, the vendor as a released version or even a draft. So I'm going to right click, click close and then click save. This will save it to server a new inductor released using existing or schematic symbol, right? And you hit enter to click or you can click OK to commit this to your server. And there you go. It's been added to the LDM 365 workspace. I'm going to close into go to my components, which it pulled all the components from my workspace. Look for this fixed inductor name. Uh, OK, so it doesn't show up, which is fine. Here's what happened. I forgot to name the inductor. So I'll go ahead, copy the manufacturer part number, search for that. It's in here, but it just has a slightly, it's kind of has a different name from what I was searching for earlier. Very interesting. Okay. So, so 2.1 amps, maybe it doesn't like that. No, looks like it's fine. Um, maybe the best thing to do is double click on the inductor, highlight the comment and copy that, then go back to my spreadsheet and then update the spreadsheet so that it matches what's in my library. Now, if I were to search all my components in Altium for this, and it might show up. Okay, so this one is a little strange, a little different. So something to be mindful of. Maybe searching for the entire name doesn't work, but as long as you can look for the manufacturer part number and the partial name, it will work.